Hey guys, good morning. It is a, what is it, Wednesday or Thursday? It's Thursday, and we are on a really tight schedule. We've got Marine One departing in just a few minutes from the White House, and I gotta get in through security. And this is still there, and I swear to God, that looks like Senator Fetterman over there. Yeah? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, we're in. Last minute, but we're in. People taking pictures of themselves. We gotta grab a ladder. Gotta dump our gear. We are running a bit late, and it is a bit warm. New ladder. All right, let's go. Oh. I've ever mentioned that my ladder is like one of the heaviest ladders here. It's, it's very sturdy, but it's not very easy to carry. It doesn't mean nobody steals my ladder. Nobody wants it. All right. Let's get set up. Yeah, they're not moving. We're still out of time. Okay, you can hear it, can't you? Let's... Marine One, or Nighthawk One, landing on the other side. The trees are blowing around. We are stuck on this side for a moment until they open the doors. All right, you got any everyone else. You got everyone else today, man. Yeah. You got the big machine, you can like knock them over. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Oh. We're in. Thanks, everyone. Oh, boy. Oh, everybody's running. There's no need to run. The Marine hasn't even come out yet. They're on the deck, but they have not opened the doors. Where did he come from? They opened the doors without me even seeing it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, that a uh, loudness warning. I didn't know there are flowers up there. So eager, all the microphones waiting him to come out. But will he speak? We don't know. Mr. President, have you watched the Trump trial?
from the decoys. off and the motorcade is already coming on where they're going the press pool and we're off the tulip garden of rose garden <laughs> count for salt team Wing entrance and it is quiet. Let's uh, let's skedaddle for a while. We're gonna go. I don't know. I was gonna go for a bike ride, but the weather is a little bit sus. It's a lot of gray clouds. I think we're gonna make our way home, grab some lunch. There's a motorcade out here. I wonder who that is. Kind of an odd, oddly laid out motorcade. Capital police. Hmm. Maybe the Ukrainian guy went up to the Capitol today. Anyway, let's. Uh, Let's make our way out. Are they the different so, yeah, it is the Ukrainian guy. There's his car. But he must have gone in, in there maybe to meet the VP. The VP's around, but the president is not. So this is not the Ukrainian president, it's the UK prime minister. Yeah, there's a spot there for his car. So his car must have gone in to the West Executive. Or so. All right. Let's go get my car and get out of here. Hey guys, we are back. Back on a bicycle down here on the campus of George Washington University for an engine company number 23 station. It's right there. And I was going to cut behind engine company 23, but I think we'll go around to the next road. It's kind of narrow. There's supposed to be a pro-Israel protest going on right now. We'll see if it's still actually on. So if you can't tell by all the people out and about and wearing shorts and all that, it's pretty much a glorious day here in Washington. Mid-70s, not too hot, clear skies, no rain. We had a little bit of hint of rain when we were at the White House earlier. And here are the police. Yeah, this is, um, they're over here assisting, I think, because the World Bank thing is going on, the World Bank uh, annual meeting. So they have a lot of cops in the general area. Yep, here's all the GW police. And here are all the DC police. So where is this protest event? Oh, here it is. So there's a counter protest down here and then there's a pro-israel event inside so so there's a big event inside there and out here is the counter protesters Okay, so quite a few police officers, not too much trouble. Let's, uh, let's just go spin somewhere else in the city, see what else is going on. 
GW is right next to the White House and the World Bank. If you're a student here, you're exposed to Washington, D.C. life up front, <laughs> basically every moment. It uh, sort of slams you in the face sometimes, as it is right now with the World Bank uh, annual meetings actually have closed off the roads right on the edge of campus. Uh, that's the law school. That's pretty much the only grassy quad. People out there sunbathing already. Man, I guess it's that warm. They're getting more of their spring break. They just didn't get enough in Florida. All right, yep, this is the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, headquarters on the right, and this is headquarters number two. They actually have two headquarters in Washington, HQ2. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me either. <laughs> Let's just spin down towards the White House, yeah? Now, this next couple roads are insane right now. Uh, the cars are double and even triple parked. Um, all these like limos and many of them have diplomatic tags. Yeah, see here's a diplomat. So the parking cops could come and yell at him and he'd just be like, yeah, whatever, I'm a diplomat. So there's a bus behind me, he's gonna try to hit me. There he is, I missed him. So yeah, all these cars, double, triple parked, all these limos, FedEx truck. What a nightmare. Yeah, I told you I was going to probably die if I biked here. They're basically triple parked diplomatic vehicles. Part of the problem is that the police actually took away all the parking on the next block. So over here, we've got the entrance, we've got bomb dogs. We've got the Secret Service blocking off this road, which doesn't make our life any easier. And then we got the DC police taking up this road. There you can see all the black suburbans of various government officials, visiting dignitaries, ambassadors. It's a pretty big event, the World Bank annual meetings or spring meetings. I think they have a spring and a fall meeting. So World Bank is basically on lockdown. Uh, you need special, you need, normally you need special credentials to get in there, but I think you need even like double special credentials to get in there this week. I don't know, we're going to get hit by a car or a diplomat, which would really, really blow because there's basically no chance of them paying for your injuries. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, let's cut over, but I think there's a siren coming. Ambulance or something. All right, let's head down here. We just got an update from the pool that Biden has stopped at a Wawa. Apparently, yesterday he stopped at a Sheets. Today he's at a Wawa. People get very uh, parochial about which is better, Wawa or Sheets. At least they do in Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right, let's swing out onto Pennsylvania Avenue. We need to go in. Actually, we need to go in pretty soon. I gotta check where his flight is. If he's airborne, I should be inside. But I think I've got a bit of time. There's your White House right over there. And over here is the Treasury. That's the Treasury Annex building. It's part of the Treasury. And that's the statue of Lafayette in Lafayette Square, Lafayette Park. And the, the Jimi Hendrix dude is out here playing today, making noise. Let's go see if, uh, I think the Iraqi Prime Minister left this morning. So it should be a bit mellower down by the Willard Hotel. Let's go take a look. I know the Ukrainian guy is still here. We saw him when we left the White House this morning. And let's head down here. So up here on my left, it's the Hotel Washington, and the Willard is right next to it. 
and it looks like it's still closed off yeah they still have security in place on the back road uh, and there's a hammer unit i think the iraqi guy might be coming back today he like left this morning maybe he comes back tonight or maybe the ukrainian guy is there anyway still a bit of a mess at the willard hotel uh let's go let's go around the south lawn today all right we are out on the national mall now that's an area being resodded. They take a section of the National Mall just about every year and make it off limits to people for about six months to give it a chance to recover. Uh, with so many people bounding down and up and up on this mall, it, it gets as packed as concrete, they say. Uh, just so many people, so they have to like aerate it, dig it up, put down new sod and start all over again. This is the old sculpture garden at the Hirshhorn Museum, and it's being totally renovated. They just dug up all the, they took out all the sculptures that were here delicately, and now they're building a much bigger hole. There's your Air and Space Museum. I don't know when the whole thing's gonna reopen soon, I think. It should be this year. Scooter. Let's swing down into the southwest sector of DC. Mainly because there's fire trucks. <laughs> so this is actually a big transit nub in DC. This is the Font Plaza area. Uh, on my right is the Department of, I think it's the FAA. The transportation used to be down here. This is a big subway stop with almost every subway line. And then up there, you've got the Virginia Railway Express. That's the commuter rail into Virginia. I think Amtrak's could actually stop here too. There's a commuter train about to make its way out with rush hour people. You can see the double decker heading to Fredericksburg, Virginia. All right, let's keep going this way. Uh, that building is Metro Transit Control, the subway operator. They operate that building. That used to be DHS, but now it's Metro. Oh, there goes the train. And this is a new apartment building. This used to be a fire station, but then they made a deal with the city. We'll build you a brand new fire station if you let us build condos where the fire station was. The city said, okay, sure, why not? And then next to it is the morgue. You know, this is the DC coroner's office and the forensic office and all the uh, crime lab offices are in this building here. It's kind of a weird little place, morose place run by DC. And here's the Hyatt on my right. And I think there's a fire station around the corner. Yep. And maybe we'll see some fire trucks. Let's head over to the bike lane. Oh, and there is foam unit one and foam unit two. And they're just chilling. They should be running to the White House soon, but the fact that they're still here is a sign that, well, I don't need to get to the White House right now. <laughs> There's a train heading out. There's another one stop. And the fire trucks are up ahead. They ran straight across the mall today. Oh, they're turning up here. So they're screaming down by air and space. They should be cutting over to the seventh. We can keep up with them. This is the Dwight Eisenhower Memorial. This is one of our newest presidential memorials. Uh, that big thing in the back, that's Point de Hoc. 
on the coast of Normandy. That's a life-size representation of what the rangers had to climb up on D-Day. And the fire trucks, well, they're still right up here. We're not that far behind them. I haven't even got a departure notice, so they might be coming in early. Or I might be really late. And the email is just delayed. Mm -hmm. yep, there's Eagle. It's on its overwatch right now, already over the White House. A bit early for Eagle. What time is it? 4.18? I had a green light. All right, we're still behind the fire trucks. Can you see it? They're up there. Yeah, there's no cars. Oh, come on, ice cream man. Don't you know we're chasing fire trucks? Whoa, dude. There he is. There's a the little one. This bike has a governor. It only goes so fast, which is really, really quite annoying. What can we do? Uh, we can go up Pennsylvania. We can catch them as they go through the entrance to the White House. They're going down that road, but we're going to cut them off at the pass. This is a 40 second red light. It's going to be a bit. Yeah, up there, guys. Can you see it? Come on, camera. Eagle. Eagle is flying up above the FBI headquarters right now. All right. Ah, light's red. Okay, let's keep making our way there. All right, we're nearing the entrance for the fire trucks. I swear we would have beat them if it wasn't for that red light. I mean, seriously, I would have been 45 seconds faster. Would have been right there where I would have beat them. Oh well, such is life. That's the DC City Hall over there with a statue of Marion Barry, mayor for life. And. Down here, we're back by the Willard again and the World War I Memorial. Let's get out. Got into my bike lane. So as many times as the film units come here, they still have to get searched. Yeah, they got to check the IDs of the firemen, check the vehicles, make sure they're safe, run the dogs over them and everything. Kind of an endless task. All right, we got our green light. There goes the twin aging unit and foam unit one. And engine 13 getting dogs. Let's go drop this bike and go inside and get set up for the return of Marine One. I missed it. <laughs> Marine One just landed. I kid you not. Uh, he, he left Philly without me even seeing his flight. Uh, the pool reports were slow to come up. Yep, I can hear the helicopter. It's on the south lawn. So we know we're going to go down where we used to go, down on the ellipse, and well, we'll see what we can see from down there. Pretty annoying. No. Okay, it's a lot easier just to ride against traffic where there is no traffic because this road here on my left should be closed by the Secret Service. Yes, there they are. They blocked off the road. So we'll just go down and see what we can see. Yeah? Let's go this way. Heard. All right, we're gonna head out to my old perch for Marine One landings. Haven't been out here in about a year or so. Might see some other YouTubers out here. 
Oh, he's already spinning up. Literally, like a couple seconds, it's going to take off. There it goes. the brakes sometimes they didn't pop up on the pool reports i wasn't able to track him and he snuck in i just missed him say lovey we'll see you tomorrow anyway thanks a lot for riding around dc with me today we'll do something different tomorrow maybe some of the same who knows it'll be fun see you then